Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel. And hello, if you are new here, if you are new here and thrifting content is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because that is what we are focused on over here. And today's video is going to be a good old fashioned thrift with me and a haul. If you have not seen my last video, I will link it up here and down below in the description box. Go ahead and check it out. But long story short, I have moved and thus I need to thrift for my new beautiful home. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to sit down with y'all and go through like my running thrift list and we're going to see if we can knock off any things on the list. So uh, let's go through the list really quick and then we're going to go thrifting. The running thrift list. Number one, I want a little tray by my kitchen sink somewhere where I can put like the sponges and like the soap dispenser, the, the dish soap, you know, stuff like that. Something cute. So we're going to keep an eye out for one of those. I also want some little glass containers with a lid for the bathroom. We, uh, you guys have not seen the bathroom, but we have like a little medicine cabinet that has to hold all of our stuff. And instead of throwing all of the things in there, I want to make them kind of cute. I have a little glass container for my beauty blenders. And I was thinking, you know, Q-tips, floss sticks, something else. Um, you, you never know. Just little glass containers with a lid, something cute. A reading chair. I want to create a little reading nook in our home and we need a cute chair for that. We need an entertainment center. I am thinking in my head I want a vintage like buffet kind of like this. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace but I'm going to keep my eye out when thrifting. We need a rug. We got the new dining table. The floors are really slippery and my dog just has an issue so we need a little rug for under the table. Also just Rugs are really important for space to kind of anchor and ground your furniture so they're not floating. So we need a rug. A little plant riser or stand, some sort of stool that I can elevate my little faux tree. Um, I have a spot that it's going to go in and I want to elevate it so you can actually see it. Okay, baskets for organization for the closets. We have two closets that are massive. Actually, they're quite deep. And I want some baskets in there to just make it look a little bit cuter, but also organize the things better. The couch, we, we need some footstools. We were not able to find a couch with like a chase. And I like to put my feet up when I'm sitting on the couch. So I want some little footstools for the couch. I need a very specific lamp for the reading corner. So I'm on the hunt for that. And then some postable. I prefer a postable. So... We'll just keep an eye out at the thrift store if we can find any. I would also like a new desk, something vintage, something Victorian, something dark wood, you know, something like that. Keeping an eye out. Again, Facebook Marketplace will come in handy. I, again, I'm thinking something like this. We'll see. Okay, and the last thing, I also need a desk chair. Okay, so that is the running thrift list. Why did that take me so long to get through? I do not know. So now I'm going to head over to my mom's house. I'm going to meet up with her, and then we're going to hit up some stores. I will see y'all back here or the hall should we find anything. Okay. I'll see you guys at the thrift store. Shopping at Goodwill. The bins. Let's go, mama. They're buying our stuff. Because they're on the hunt for a little reading chair. Maybe they might have something over here, which it's looking like they don't. Mm -hmm. That's is not bad, honestly, but no. Oh, grandfather clock, 100 bucks? Come on, Goodwill, get it together. No, no, no. This is cute, 15 bucks, nice coffee table. Okay, no reading chairs, nothing that I would want, so let's go dig through the bins. So if you don't know, the bins, they'll have like the rows here and then they'll bring out new ones here and everyone waits in line. And when the bins come out and they let you dig through them, people are like insane going through them. What is this? Looks like it's linen something. Like a little skirt. Kind of cute. What else is in here? It's kind of like when I look through this stuff, it's like what kind of fabrics can I find? Because I am on the hunt to kind of like redo my wardrobe. 
and this is a good place to find some treasures. So I look for like linens, like vintage denim, stuff like that. But you really do have to have uh, some patience, as you can see, digging through Goodwill's garbage. But, like I said in a previous video, I'm not above it, so I'll dig through garbage. It's fine. I will say you can find like little scarves like this a ton here, and I found some really pretty Christmas ones. An idea for them is you can use them as like little table runner, tablecloth things, put them over some books for the holidays. Uh, and this is probably going to cost, you know, if you buy it here, a couple of cents. Like this little, this is cute for spring. Just put it in the center of your table with like a little arrangement or something on it. Super cute. How adorable is this little bag? Super cute. This little chain detail. Kind of adorable. The bins are also a really good place to find um, a ton of books. Look at this adorable little Christmas book from the Victorian table. Like, hello? It has recipes. And inspiration love stuff like this and for the holidays you can bring out your different little books absolutely look at this adorable or for your coffee table books hello William Sonoma at the bins well yes please so cool Honestly, this thrift store was an absolute bust. It it was just bad. We were in there for, I think, a collective three minutes, maybe not even. And we just headed right on over to the nearest Goodwill. So that is where we are currently. I, of course, am on the hunt for a reading chair. So I was taking a look at their furniture, which was quite packed. If I do say so myself, it's just, it, it wasn't, it wasn't quite what I was looking for. So we're going to move right along. I also filmed this whole portion and realized later that my microphone was off. So there's that. And hence why we are getting the lovely little voiceover we are right now. I really liked those cups. These ones were absolutely beautiful. I loved the like tapered shape. It was stunning. And in true Goodwill fashion, this bowl and this bowl were exactly the same. However, one was priced at a dollar more expensive. Get it together, Goodwill. Come on. I'm explaining here that I, in my move, I left my dog's bowls at my mom's house. And since then, I have just been using whatever little glass mixing bowls I've had laying around. And I absolutely love it. So I'm on the hunt for like a matching pair or just something cuter. In the thrift list, I am looking for some sort of baskets for organization, whether that be for the hallway closet or our drawers, like the junk drawer. So I was interested in these, but they just weren't it. And then something like this would actually be really useful, but for the size of our closets, this one's just way too small. I do need ice cube trays, however, these ones would not work. I need ones with the lid. Okay, moving right along. I do have an Etsy store, so I'm always on the hunt for things to resell. And this canister is absolutely adorable for the spring season. I mean, it, it like cannot get more perfect. It was just absolutely adorable. And it was only five bucks. I just, I wish they had another one or like a set. I feel like that would have been a lot more valuable. This little apothecary jar shaped like a bell, super cute for Christmas. Also the figs inside were pretty good quality and the whole thing was five bucks. I really enjoyed it. Pro tip, if you need some greenery, go to the thrift store. They always have some and these two pieces were really, really good quality. And we're gonna see an arrangement here in just a second. That's absolutely stunning. As well as this little vase. Oh my God, it's so cute. Here we have a little flower packet and this was the arrangement that I was talking about. It's so nice for $7. Really, really pretty. Always check your candles. They usually always have some sort of taper candle, votive candle, tea lights. The thrift store always has them. Mm -hmm. 
this mirror was so, so nice. It was $35, which I actually thought was a decent price for the size and the style. I really liked it. And this cute little mushroom painting. Oh my God, absolutely adorable. This frame was quite large. It was 15 bucks, which was a little expensive, but I love the little hook detail, I guess you could call it, the little ring at the top. I really enjoyed it. And they had some other really nice prints, but they were just too expensive. Goodwill is just, it's getting a little pricey, as we all know. One thing about me is I absolutely love looking through the linens. You truly never know what you're going to find. I have found some really awesome pieces for my home hidden in the linen section. On this particular trip, I am keeping an eye out for any sort of fabric or something that I can use to recover the chairs of the new dining set that we got. So we're, we're taking a browse. You already know I love those like vintage floral ones. They just, they weren't it. So we're gonna keep on looking. Don't ignore the sheets and the blankets because you never know what you're gonna find and you can repurpose them to make some new cushions, make curtains, whatever it is. Keep an open mind when thrifting. adventure was um, quite unsuccessful in terms of the thrifting list however I did find some pieces that I am excited about so let's go ahead and go through a haul the first item that I picked up was something that I definitely did not need however I can't tell you how long ago I had this fleeting thought in my head where I was like in my home eventually in the future I want a wild flower wand that is exactly what it sounds like so at the thrift store I found I found this pack of four packets of different wildflowers. It's got all different kinds and it's perfect because it says to plant them all after March 1st, which I can do that. However, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them in the yard and see what happens. So for $2, I have two packs of wildflowers to make my wildflower lawn dream come true, hopefully. The next piece was a success. It was on the thrift list. So I found this adorable crystal, I think it's a cut, cut crystal, little container. It's the absolute perfect size for Q-tips. So this is going to go in my little medicine cabinet full of Q-tips to get that ugly standard box up out of there, replace it with something cute. I also will do a close up of all of my items at the end like I need to do. So stay tuned for that if you can't really see or you just fast forward and just see my little haul right at the end. The next thing that I found, I was actually really excited about. So we did get this new dining set. It came equipped with six chairs and we're keeping four. And the, the fabric on it is nice, but it is a little dingy and it's honestly just easier to rip it up and staple on some new fabric that's going to fit better with our decor. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. However, whenever I'm at the thrift store, I love to look at linens, whether it be tablecloths, sheets, washcloths, napkins, like all of the things. I like to look at it. And while I was there thrifting, I was like, let me go ahead and take a look and see if I find anything that I think could work for these shares. And I did find a tablecloth that I think is stunning, number one. And number two, I think it'd be stunning to redo the chairs. So it's this pattern. It's gorgeous. I am not sure if I have enough to recover all four chairs. We'll see. And then I also have to see if my man likes it. So there's that. However, it was only like $2. So if it ends up not being something that I use to recover the chairs, I can use it as a tablecloth as intended or just redonate it and it's, and it's not going to hurt the wallet at all. Next up, we have a stunning, looks like a watercolor of some mushrooms. How darling is that? This is not for me. It's going to be for retail in my Etsy shop. I do have an Etsy shop that will be linked down below along with a coupon code if you decide to purchase anything and you're coming from YouTube. So check it out down there. But this adorable little watercolor was only $5 and the matting is perfect. The frame is perfect. It's just, it's absolutely adorable. It's signed. 
So this will be going up in my Etsy shop. By the time you're watching this video, it will be listed. I'm holding myself accountable on that one. So go ahead and check it out. I do have one more item that I picked up from the Goodwill bins actually. It's this right here. You guys probably saw it in the video. I'm not sure if I included it or not, but it is this very, very large, absolutely amazing picture of pheasant. I got it at the Goodwill bins. It probably cost like $3. It's large, it's heavy, it's gorgeous. Again, that's another piece that'll be for resale in my Etsy shop. That one will not be listed by the time this video goes live. But that will be listed at some point in my Etsy store, Etsy shop, Etsy store, whatever you want to call it. Alright everyone, that is going to wrap up today's video. Overall, it was unsuccessful. However, we did find one thing on the thrift list. So it, it's a good running start. That just means that we uh, have to go out and keep looking, keep hunting, keep searching for the treasures. And on that note, I'm very, very happy. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video and are excited for more content to come, I have some decorating videos. I'm super, I'm itching. I'm itching to get into my boxes, get stuff out, and get this house looking pretty. So those videos are coming. I'm waiting to do those videos because I know I'm going to film them. So those videos are coming. If you guys are excited to see that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I have a lot more fun ideas coming for you guys. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. My spiel is done now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.